Kaya, Kaya, Kaya. Nan Europe and Nonakan Kuli Nicha. To Jenang Nan, Ni, and Buddha Wan Wang in what Nan Wang in Nicha Mamba. Kura, Kura, and Yunga and Mort, Balap and Dead Yin Nicha. And Balap and the Carl, the Moya Moya, Coilies, and Balap and Cooling on the Buja, Ballop and Barming, Yonga, White, and Mering, and Nala, Buddha one Nanning, the Snotty Gobble, the Kula Tree, the Culberry, the Yonga, White, and Buddha one the Wajala is calling to the Nyunga Buja. Nyunga and Wajala Nalakan Kulin into the Buddha Buddha Murich. What I said was, welcome to Tamamba Reserve. This is the Nunga land where a long time ago our people lived here. And they looked after this land, they walked it. They hunted for kangaroo, wallaby, for waich, for emu. There was bush tucker here, the culberries, the berries. There's plenty of ducks there. And then later on the white people came along and the Noongar and the Wajala now, we've been walking into the future. So that's a Noongar welcome. Generally when, when you um, do a welcome to country at a function, the, the highest, highest ranking Wajala, the Buddha, he would get up and do an acknowledgement to country. And he would say, on behalf of the Wajalas, on behalf of our organisation, we acknowledge the Nyunga people, elders both past and present, whose land we now stand on. That's their acknowledgement to country. And that always takes place after the welcome to country. Not before, some people put it on before, but it's, it's sort of out of order. So. It's always got to follow the welcome to country. And um, because generally Noongas don't like to interfere or interrupt in um, the function that's going on. So we'll get that out of the way early and then we can leave and go about our business. The acknowledgement to country is when people, the white people, acknowledge the presence of Aboriginal people. It doesn't have to be any Aboriginal people present at your conference or, or your um, meeting place, but it's always good manners to say, we like to acknowledge that we're standing on the land of the Noongar people, of the elders, both past and present. And um, we acknowledge the presence of those people so that's all you you got to say. It doesn't have to be any long, long-winded acknowledgement. It can be. We acknowledge the Nyunga people. That's fine. See the snotty gobble tree here. See there's the snotty gobble. See him. See there. But those ones, the snotty gobbles will, will stay on the tree until they're ripe. They call it snotty gobbles because you've got to squeeze them and squeeze the flesh and the seed out of, the, out of there, out of the jacket, because the, the skin is as bitter as gall. So this is, these are the ones, when you, when you go for them, these are the ones you pick up, see? Earlier in my introduction I said the words kaya, Kaya, Kaya. It's so very important that people understand the language of the Noongar people. 199 years ago, when the Noongars saw the, the, the boats coming to Fremantle Harbour, they were waiting at the mouth of the Durbal Yerrigan, the Swan River. And the Noongar, when the white people came ashore, the Noongar said, Kaya. Kaya, K 
Kaya. That means welcome, hello, how are you? Though the first words ever spoken by Nyunga to the white man. First of all, when it comes to paying respect to country, when you visit someone else's country, like when I go to Singapore or Malaysia, I stick to the places that I've I'm not going to disrespect them. And if I go anywhere, I always pay respect to them. And here, when you go bush, and you go into the bushland, what you the first thing you do is look where people walk, and you stay onto the footpaths. Because those paths have been there for a long, long time. So you can't disrespect anyone by going off site. But if, if you do see a tree like the snotty double tree, over here, and you know, we know that that's flowering and seeding now. We know that you can go there and pick some food. If anyone wants to learn, we can, they can go to the city of Kalamunda and they've, they're licensed, they've got a wrap now, they've got an action plan, and the staff have been trained in relation to the Noongar culture. So the city of Kalamunda would be a good and ideal place to come along to share information.